More news here at 6 o'clock. Nathan Chasing Horse remains in custody here in Las Vegas, while Canada, meantime, is beefing up its charges against him. The Dances with Wolves actor now facing more allegations of sexual abuse. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has been uncovering new information since January. Six months later, here's the update. Nathan Chasing Horse is accused of victimizing indigenous underage girls and women for at least two decades. The latest charges against the Dances with Wolves actor from Sutina Nation Police in Canada near Calgary. We had a lot of collaboration um, with our Las Vegas partners in relation to uh, some of the evidence that was brought forward. And there is no question that he is guilty of those. The latest warrants for nine counts, including sexual assault, sexual exploitation, and two other counts related to minors. Sergeant Nancy Farmer says Chasing Horse used his position as a self-proclaimed medicine man to abuse those who trusted him. We need to support our victims as they come forward and speaking their truth. And some of these offenses have happened so many years ago. Chasing Horse was arrested at his North Las Vegas home where he lived with several wives in January. He's charged with 18 counts related to the alleged sexual abuse of two women, one of them while she was underage. He also now faces federal charges in the U.S. and previous warrants in Montana and Canada. After additional women spoke up and after some investigations were reopened. Had any of these alleged victims previously come forward before January. In 2005, it was investigated. At that time, it, the evidence that we had did not uh, meet the threshold for a charge. And with the additional information that we were able to gather, we were able to lay charges. Chasing Horse is asking the Nevada Supreme Court to drop the charges against him here in Clark County. No decision has been made yet. It's unclear whether he'd be extradited to Canada. In the meantime, he remains in custody here in Las Vegas. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.